Hello, and welcome to another episode of my 100 Day to Prosperity Challenge Journey. It's me, my name is Tamisha, and I'm so glad to have you here with me today. If you are interested in my channel, basically what this is about is I am a teacher of online internet marketers, and basically I teach them how to start their business, how to sustain it for the long haul, and also I give out reviews on tools and tricks and strategies of the trade to hopefully get you your business to be the best that it could possibly be so you can live the life of your dreams, all right? So that's what my channel's about. And if you're interested in that, make sure you click the, the bell and the subscribe button so you can get all the notifications of when I'm dropping a new video, which happens to be daily at this point. So let's get on to the topic of today. Well, today, we're gonna be talking about your free gift campaign. It is a awesome online strategy. You can marry it with your sales funnel. And basically all that you're doing is you're offering your, your customers, your visitors, your subscribers, your clients, whatever, a free gift. And in exchange for that free gift, they will give, them, give you information about yourself. They will give you information about themselves. So generally, it's an email address, but if you're getting, giving out a physical product like we talked about in the last video, then you have to get their mailing address as well. So whatever you're getting, giving out, whatever you're giving out to them, you also have to make sure that you're getting the information you need so that you can make them a client of yours for months and years to come. And that is how you build your business for the long haul. Okay, so what if you have a great idea for your free gift product, but you have no idea where to go? So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you have more more money than time, and you want to just pay, pay somebody to get your free gift together, I have four options for you. So let me share my screen and let's talk about them. Right, the first one we're going to talk about is called Fiverr. And Fiverr, I love because it's probably one of the cheapest options out there. Like most of their, um, peop most of the workers on Fiverr actually start at $5 or their starting price is $5. So you can get stuff done for as little as $5. And depending on how extensive your writing sample is that you want will depend on how much it costs. But it's still priced very well. So if you just type in um, reports writing, and we're gonna search, and at the top, I don't wanna do that right now. Oh, okay, let's do this. All right, so across the top, it has all the different categories in which you can get writing samples for. So you can either, you know, actually click what writing sample that you want to talk about, what some what category or article you actually want to talk about in your actual writing sample or you just you can just look for the actual person below and so what what happens in my writings okay report writing okay acting silly now come on okay so what hap so it tells you all the related categories that go with this and all the different um categories that they write for okay and so you look and you see that like this person starts at ten dollars and they tell you what they do and you also want to look at this right here because five stars is the best so you want to have people that have a good rating you don't want to give your money to a person who's not going to give you what you want or you know be you know an, a little butthole about your your actual stuff that you're paying for so you want to actually make sure that you find somebody that has a good rating and has at least a decent amount of people that are reviewing so this person has 15 and a 5 rating 
or five star rating, which is good, okay? But they start at $25. This person has 65, uh, 65 people that reviewed and a five star rating and they start at $5. So you see, you just go through and you find, you know, who you think would be the best to write your article or ebook or whatever it is that you're trying to put out into the market for you. And you just sign up with them. You click on them and then you hire them. And um, y'all will work out the fee. They will tell you what their fee is. And if you agree, you go ahead and you um, get the work done. And if you and like the work, then you pay. Okay. So that's Fiverr. The next one is called Upwork. And Upwork is um, a great website also to find freelancers. And also with all of these things, if you are good at writing, you can sign up to get extra money on all of these sites to help you, you know, gain some cash. You know, if you're good at writing or any of those, other, any of these other categories that they have there, you know, sign up with them and get some extra cash in your pocket. Okay. It's nothing, no harm with that. So basically, let's see. If I want to say an article writing, I want to find somebody who can write an article. So they come up, they also um, set their own uh, how much that they will charge, but you also want to find out, you know, their how their job success rating so that's important how much money they've earned is important and of course how much they charge per hour for writing whatever it is that you need wrote so this is a good thing 80 percent 100 percent job success rating so you want to find someone who has a high success rating especially if you're shelling out you know 50 40 30 dollars an hour and um, this is hot. This this is higher. They pay. They um, they're gonna ask for high a lot more money because they also do a lot more. So they will actually write your eBooks. Where on Fiverr, you know, you're looking at people who write articles, reports, stuff that is small. But on Upwork, they'll actually write an eBook for you. And so paying fifty dollars an hour might not be a bad idea if you don't want to write seven thousand words. Okay, so you know this is something that you need to think about and weigh out. And eventually, if it's somebody who you think does an awesome job, they can you can also hire them. You know to do your writing for you. Period. You don't have to go anywhere else, and then y'all can negotiate a better price. And so that's something that you can think about as well. All right, the next one is called iWriter. And iWriter actually has a fee schedule. So if you if you want your person to write an ebook for for Kindle, a Kindle book, then you can go to the Elite or the Elite Plus. And, and when you look at the people when you actually scroll, and we'll go to that in a second, when you scroll and you search, they'll tell you what level they're on, whether they're on standard, premium, elite, or elite plus. So the standard people can only write articles. And basically, you can get your article wrote for $1.40. I mean, that's amazing. For 150 words, you can pay $1.40, okay? So those are the standard writers, and then it can go all the way up to $13, or $290 for an article, okay, if you want a 4,000 word article, which is a very long article. Um, if you need your article rewrote, then only the premium elite and elite plus can write it. And they also, they have pretty much the same fee schedule. The only thing that changes is when you get to the eBooks. So blog posts is about the same, is exactly the same. And then also, ebooks is where it goes up i think press releases is, is exactly the same so ebooks and kindle books is where the price goes up dramatically and you can only get elite and elite plus so if i go to find writers and i say i want an article writer uh oh well I think that works anyway. So this person has a five star rating, but they are an elite plus. So they can actually write a full ebook, a 7,000 word ebook for you. So 
you know, look for the rating. Of course, they have the star rating. Five is the highest. They tell you what their experience are. They also give you writing sam samples. Um, they give you all the information that you need before you decide to actually purchase uh, or choose an actual writer. If the writer is in the style in which you want to write or kind of talks like you, you know, you want to think about that too, then, you know, find somebody who works for you. They tell you their, your experience. They tell you, you know, how long they joined, all this information if they speak English. So that's a great way to get more information about them. And the last one we're going to talk about is Freelancer. And freelancer, it works. They basically choose what they're, you know, what they're going to charge you for the um, the amount of money or for the project that you're asking for. So they choose. And I guess you kind of negotiate, and this is kind of like a go between. They um, basically show you how much all of their stuff, or they post the writers on here, so you can browse jobs. So you say you want to hire, I'm trying to see, show you where it shows the jobs. Okay, well it's just showing you this. You actually have to put in an order and then they show you basically all of the people that will work well with you. So you need to find the select, you need to find the person that you think will work well with you in freelancer and then y'all negotiate a price and if y'all agree to the price then you actually say yes but mostly with this i think is you just put the job out there it's like a job site you just put the job out there and you let people come and bid on your job and you tell them basically how much you're wanting to pay and they will bid on how much you know they will take for the job that you're asking for and so you can tell them you know per article you can tell them i need 10 articles i need 20 articles you know i need 15 blog posts this is how much i want to pay and then you people will bid on that and for some reason it's not coming up so we're just going to move on but um that's basically the four that we needed to talk about which was fiverr and it was Upwork, iWriter, and Freelancer. So depending on your budget, your money, um, who, how you want to pay for your um, articles or your writing samples or whatever it is that you're getting from um, these actual workers, however you want to get pay, however you want to pay them out, um, you have many different options to do that. So if I have given you any value in this content today, make sure that you give me the thumbs up button. And please, 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 you know, subscribe to my channel. Um, you're get, I'm giving you fresh daily videos, information that will help you in your business, make help you grind, help you um, be successful. And you want to live the life, laptop lifestyle, and I want to live the laptop lifestyle. So I'm helping you do that. I'm giving you information so you can be successful and basically live the life that you want to live. And so if that's appealing to you, subscribe and you know check out my future videos. All right. Also, if you want a free gift, yay, free gift. I have a checklist down below. It's in my video credits. You can download the free gift. It's a checklist and I upload it or not upload it, but it changes every time that I upload a new video, especially if it corresponds to the actual checklist. And you have the videos plus all of the actionable steps in the videos to help you be successful in your business, which is what we're here for, okay? And also, if you wanna know what I'm doing, how I'm learning this information, and how I am gaining success in my business, then make sure that you click the first link in my description box. It gives you all the information that you'll need to be successful, uh, to learn and earn this um, online marketing business. And you can use it for any business, actually. And it will help you 
earn some money, put some money in your pocket. And it's a great program and we have a great support team and we would love to have you join us. So until next time, my friend, make sure that you think big, dream big, take action so that you may own the life of your dreams. Bye now.